to my channel. This is Laura with Virtual Kitchen with Laura. For the cheesecake recipe, we are going to start with our crust. I already have a 8 inch springform pan. I wrapped some foil around it because we're going to bake it in a water bath and this way it ensures that no water gets through and we're going to start with the crust. So for that, we have some graham cracker, some brown sugar to give it a little bit more flavor, some chopped pecans. We're gonna give this a little bit of a mix. And then we are going to add in our melted butter. And of course, I will have the recipe and everything I use linked below. So take a look there. Okay, so then we're just gonna make sure everything is broken up and that it resembles wet sand. So it's gonna look just like that. Just make sure you don't have any chunks of uh, brown sugar or graham cracker. I use the cookies and I break them up in a Ziploc bag with the rolling pin. And it takes about seven crackers for this amount. Now I'm gonna take my springform pan and just pour everything in there. And then either with my hand or with a measuring cup, you can press this down. I use the back of a measuring cup just to press it down. And I'm not gonna bring it up on the sides. Just a little bit, you know, just whatever I press up and that's it. Okay, so it's gonna look just like that. And we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna move on to the filling. And for the filling, I am going to use three cubes of cream cheese. Everything has to be at room temperature, okay? Make sure that you have all this at room temperature because you do not want to overbeat this batter. It will cause your cake to crack. Okay, so we have the cream cheese. And I'm going to whip that up first just to break it up. I am going to use brown sugar for this, for this cake. We're going to add in our brown sugar our vanilla and our lemon juice. And what I'm gonna do for the eggs, I am going to slightly beat the eggs just so I don't have to run the mixer so much. Okay, we're gonna add our eggs and knock everything down. And here we go. I'm gonna stop the mixer and I'm gonna make sure everything is off the bottom. We're going to give it one more check, make sure everything is nice and incorporated. Seems like it is. Okay, I'm going to transfer you over and we're going to pour this into our crust. Okay, now we're just going to pour it into our crust here. Okay, and there we go. Beautiful. Now, what we are going to do before we pop this in the oven, we're going to take a casserole dish or whatever you have. It doesn't have to be glass, it can be metal. And we're going to pop in our cheesecake in here. And we're going to add about a, an inch of water. And we're going to pop it into the oven like this. Just be careful transferring it or add the water once you have the cheesecake and your tray in the oven. That's what I would recommend. So you don't have to worry about the water splashing on you, okay? Because it is hot. So I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees. And I'll be back to show you the finished product. We are going to start the caramel topping for this because we also need this uh, cool. We are going to add our sugar. Now this is a heavy bottom pot that you want for this. You don't want to use a light uh, pot because it will burn. And we are going to melt this slowly and let it come to an amber color. Okay, and as this melts, you're going to notice that the sugar is going to clump up a little bit. That's normal. You just need to continue to melt the sugar. So just take your time with it. Don't leave the stove while this is happening because it will burn. It will start to turn colors 
and it goes quick. Okay, as you can see here, it starts to melt. I'm just showing you different stages of it so you know what it looks like when you try it yourself. Okay, still melting. And it's already getting some color in it. Okay, now that everything is just about, there's still a couple of little specks in there. But now that that's changing color, this is when you really need to watch it. When it starts turning caramel color like that. Okay, so I'm just going to let it go for about 30 more seconds. And we're going to add our butter. I'm going to turn the heat way low. Or you can even turn it off at this point. Melt your butter. It's going to bubble, so you need to be careful. That's why you need to get it off the heat. And then we're going to add in our heavy cream. And you want to do this off the fire. If it starts to clump up. Okay, I switched over to a whisk just to make sure that everything is... If it clumps up on you, of course, just take it off the heat and get a whisk. And whisk it, just be very careful not to splatter yourself. Because this is very, very hot. And as soon as it hits some more temperature, higher temperature, it will melt down the clumps. You just have to be very careful with this not to splash yourself. So I turned the heat back on and it's on very low. It's almost all incorporated. Okay, now that everything is incorporated, there's no more lumps, we're going to add in our pecans. And we're going to let this be in here for about two to three minutes and we're done. Then we just set it aside and let it cool because it is extremely hot at this point. This has been sitting up here for about three minutes. I'm going to turn it off. As you can see, it's very hot. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little pinch of sea salt in there. And that's it. We're done. We're just waiting on the cheesecake. Okay, guys, the cheesecake is ready. The way you know it's ready is you give it a little shake. And there should be a little bit of jiggle in the middle, but that's it. But we're not going to take it out of the oven. Turn the oven off and we're going to leave the door open just like that for about an hour or so. And this helps the cake from not cracking on the top. So I'll check in with y'all in a while. Okay everybody, the cheesecake is done. It's been sitting here for a couple of hours cooling after I took it out of the oven. So what we're going to do now is take the foil off. And as you can see, this is just a latch part. And if you want to run a knife, a clean knife, along the edge there so that, you know, you're guaranteed not to stick. I know mine's a non-stick and it just pops right out. Okay, so we're going to put it in the middle of this cake holder that I have here. See that? And now we're going to add the caramel on top. Now, if you want to just do this on the side, just add to the piece that you want. That's fine too, but I like it for the effect if you're going to have a party over and this is sitting on the table and looks so delicious. So what I do is I just start spreading it on there. And then the rest of this, I put it in a small mason jar. Keep it in the refrigerator. You can use it for topping for a pound cake, for ice cream, for just a whole bunch of stuff. And look at how beautiful that looks. Let's take a slice out of it so we can see what it looks like. And look at there. Delicious. Nice and creamy and caramelly with the salted caramel and pecans. How delicious is that, guys? I'm going to bring you in for a close-up with how I cut it. Look at that. Delicious. Okay, guys. That's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure enjoyed making it for you. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell that's right there. And they'll notify you every time I upload a new video. All the items and recipe that I used will be in the description bar below. And anything information that you need to know is in the description box. Please take a look there. Please leave any comments about what you thought about the cheesecake. I sure would appreciate it if you share with friends and family on your social media. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Mmm.